Yo guys, what is going on? Daggers here, back again for another video. Today is the start of a series on vanilla dungeon transmog farming. Whether you are looking to just get the transmog yourself or you're looking to make a bit of gold, um, this video and this series is gonna show you where to farm for what. Before we get started, as always guys, please like the video if you enjoy. Please comment any feedback or suggestions for the rest of the series anything else that you think could be helpful to know and I can try and fit that in there as well. This video did take a bit of time to make so if you do enjoy and you look forward to the rest of the series please hit that subscribe button as well. So guys we're going to start over in Kalimdor and the plan with the series is to make our way from north to south in Kalimdor and then head over to eastern kingdoms after that. Of course, Kalimdor has a few different dungeons, and these dungeons share different loot pools. And the way that we're going to break it up is by these loot pools. So, for our first loot pool, it's going to consist of BFD and Wailing Caverns. Of course, BFD up here in Ashenvale. And then inside BFD, we're going to find some high value items, which are, of course, unique to BFD but a very low drop chance. With all transmog, it can take some time to sell these items. And then when we come out of BFD, the other dungeon sharing some of the set loot is going to be Wailing Caverns over here in the Northern Barrens. Inside Wailing Caverns, we are gonna find a variety of these sets as well. So guys, just before we get into the different gear in this loot pool, I'd just like to have a quick disclaimer that obviously some of this gear has a very low drop chance, especially the BFD unique items, it's why they sell for so much gold. But if you're targeting one specific item, I would do a little bit more research, maybe Google it on Wowhead and see what the drop chance is and when you could expect to maybe find it. Also, of course, the gold amounts included in the video are the EU region, and the Draenor current price. Now these hopefully will give you a kind of idea of how much gold you can expect depending on your realm. Draenor where I have my characters is quite a high population realm and Transmog tends to sell for a lot less. So this should give you a bit of a balance on what you can expect to sell these items for. But as with anything to do with gold, it can fluctuate so much depending on the time in the expansion, how many um, people are farming these dungeons, all of these things can affect it. And so these gold prices are not a hard price. It's just to give you an idea. So guys, I think that's everything I have to say about that. Let's jump into the items. So guys, looking at the items, we have the different sets along the top of the screen. We've got the items, the EU medium price, and the current Draenor price. Our first set is a ceremonial leather set. Only two of these items drop inside Wailing Caverns, the rest outside, but not in BFD or another dungeon. Then onto the blood spattered set. The chest here is gonna drop in both BFD and Wailing Caverns and the rest all dropping just in Wailing Caverns. Then onto our Mystics set, uh, the chest dropping in BFD here and the rest of the set dropping in Wailing Caverns. The chest selling for significantly more on uh, the EU Median. And then onto the Feral set. This one, similar with the Blood Spattered, you're gonna get the uh, chest in both BFD and Wailing Caverns, but, uh, and all the rest is just gonna drop in Wailing Caverns. And then onto our Outrunners set. Chest and legs dropping in BFD this time, and the rest, and sorry, the legs also dropping in Wailing Caverns, and the rest dropping in just Wailing Caverns. The legs look like they're selling for a lot more on the, on EU realms. Here we have shoulder pads as well, um, and the chest and the legs dropping in BFD, the legs also dropping in Wailing Caverns, and then the rest of the set just dropping in Wailing Caverns. And then onto our war paint set, similar to some of the others, just the chest dropping in BFD, and the rest of the set dropping in Wailing Caverns. So most of these sets we've gone through so far, a lot of those pieces are gonna drop in 
Wailing Caverns, but the higher priced pieces are maybe going to be dropping in BFD. Now more onto the BFD side with a lot of these items dropping in BFD and a few of them just dropping in Wailing Caverns. Now the Hulking set, this one again mostly dropping in BFD with uh, two items also dropping in Wailing Caverns, but the whole set will drop in BFD alone. And then the Ritual set, chest and legs dropping in BFD, and then the rest of the set dropping in Wailing Caverns. Of course, the legs also dropping in Wailing Caverns as well. And then onto our Pagan set, you can see that the chest which drops in BFD looks like it's selling for significantly more, both on uh, Draenor and uh, EU. So maybe this is quite a popular piece. And then our Wrangler set is going to fully drop in BFD, um, but the chest does not drop in either of these dungeons or other dungeons. It drops more in the open world, um, but you can get the rest of the pieces in the dungeon. And then finally, we've got the spike chain set. This one, the chest is actually dropping in RFK, of course, which is not part of this current loot pool. And the rest of the pieces are dropping in BFD. Now, guys, we're going to go on to the BFD unique items. Got a variety here. Crested Scepter selling for 114k on EU Realms and still 96k on, um, on Draenor. And the Axe of the Enforcer, this actually dropped for me on probably my first or second run of uh, testing this out in BFD, um, selling for 69k on um, on Draenor, but about 350k on EU realm. So maybe on your realm you can get a fair bit of fair bit of gold for this item. Yeah, and if the Ring of Precision supposedly selling for 100k as well. This one's a lot cheaper on my realm. Um, I also got this to drop, but I haven't managed to sell it yet. And then a few more items, guys. The Doom Spike, 35k on EU, but only 5k on Draenor. Um, the Staff of the Friar is still selling pretty well on Draenor as well, 32k. And then the Onyx Claymore as well, 45k on, on Draenor. So this is a really good one to, to, um, to pick up. 106k on EU, of course, but yeah. And then finally, the Grimclaw, I also got this one to drop quite quickly for me as well. Um, 99k on EU realms, but 39k on Draenor, which is not bad either. Well, guys, that is everything I've got for you in this video today. And I'm going to just get started on the rest of the series. There is a lot of research to do, as you can probably imagine. Guys, if you have enjoyed this video, or please, if you have any suggestions, as I said, there's a lot of information. And for you guys as the viewer, maybe you'll have a better idea of what you'd like to see in the next one. If there's anything that is missing or more information that you'd like, then please let me know in the comments. But that's been everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Daggers. Peace.